to study isoquinoline, which is 4, 5, benzo, pyridine. So the structure is different, but the structure formula is same like quinoline, C9H7N. Isoquinoline is considered as a part of the total structure of many alkaloids, whether liquid or solid. Insoluble in water and soluble in most organic solvents. So now if we talk about the resonance structure of isoquinoline, it has total of eight structure. So, okay, so if you, we will see structure one by one. So if we see this structure, it is the structure of isoquinoline. Now in this structure, we will just now have three double bond in benzene ring, okay? And this bond, the first bond will shift towards benzene ring. So we have three double bonds in benzene ring and two double bonds in pyridine. And in structure number three, we have three double bonds in pyridine ring, but two double bonds in benzene ring, okay? Now we will talk about structure number one again. Now what will happen that this double bond shifts its electron towards nitrogen. Then we have positive charge here and negative charge of nitrogen, which is shown in this picture. Okay. Now what will happen that, that this bond will shift towards this direction. And then we have double bond here. And then we have positive charge here, which is shown in this picture. Okay, now what will happen that this bond will shift towards here and then we have positive charge here which is shown in this picture. Okay, that this bond will move here and then we have positive charge here or the other possibility is that this bond will move here and then we have positive charge here which is shown in this picture. Okay. From this structure, this one, we have two possibilities. That first, this double bond will move here or the other possibility that this bond will move here. That's why we have two resonance structure from one resonance structure. And the other resonance structure is that if we have positive charge here, this bond will move here and then we have positive charge here. Okay, the other one is, is the same that if we are a, in this direction, that electron will come from here and then we have double bond here, then this is our first structure. Okay, so we have total of A structure of isoquinoline. Now, synthesis of isoquinoline, it is from two phenyl ethyl amine, reacts with formyl chloride. Then we have N formyl two phenyl ethyl amine and is in resonance form with its in all form. So this is keto form and then this is in all form. So you have to keep in mind what is the difference between keto and in all form. Keto and in all form. So this is the difference between keto and in all form. And then N for a mile to Two phenyl ethylamine is converted into three four dihydro isoquinoline, which again convert into isoquinoline by minus H2 in the presence of catalyst PD. Okay, so two phenyl ethylamine reacts with formyl chloride to form N formyl two phenyl ethylamine, which is in resonance form in in its in all form and then we have 3 4 dihydro isoquinoline as an intermediate product then we have final product isoquinoline it can also be prepared from benzyl aldehyde reacts with 2 to dial alcox ethylamine then we have intermediate product and then we have final product isoquinoline so benzyl aldehyde react with 2 to dialoxy ethylamine and then we have benzyl amino acetal and then we have a final product isoquinoline. Formation of isoquinoline by cyclization of acetylated amino methyl phenyl carbonyl or their ether with phosphorus pentoxide in toluene or xylene. Okay. 
phosphorus pentaoxide will act as catalyst and then we have a final product of isoquinoline now we will talk about the chemical reaction oxidation reaction take place and then we have final product of phthalic acid and 3,4 pyridine decarboxylic acid in the presence of KMnO4. And nitration takes place in the presence of HNO3. We will have 5 nitro isoquinoline. So these are chemical reactions. Now the basic character reacts with HCl to form isoquinoline hydrochloride. It is a weak base with pKa of 5.14, it protonates to form salt when treated with strong acid and these salt form are sparingly soluble in water. Now if we talk about the physical properties, it is colorless hygroscopic liquid at room temperature above its melting point. Boiling point is 242 degree, melting point is 26 to 28 degree. Its smaller mass is 129.162 gram per mole. It has a penetrating unpleasant odor. Its impure samples can appear brownish. It is soluble in dilute acid as the protonated derivative. So if we talk about the application of the drug containing isoquinoline ring, we will have the first drug which is dimethylisoquine. So we have this is our isoquinoline structure. So it is an anesthetic drug. It is an anesthetic drug and it is also present in antihypertension agent, antihypertensive drugs such as cunapril and its derivatives. So these are the other derivatives of cunapril. You can if search on the Google, you will find the structure of cunapril. So these all are drugs containing isoquinoline and its derivative. And the other drug is containing our isoquinoline structure, this one. And this is a disinfectant. And it is also used in pain, dyes, fungicide, and insecticides. And it, also, it is also present in antifungal agents. So they are also used as solvent for the extraction of terpenes and resins. So terpenes and resins are actually present in different plants. Okay, so if you want to extract Terpenes and resin from plant like stamps or the leaves or flowers you can extract with isoquinoline because isoquinoline acts as catalyst in the extraction of terpene and resins. Mm 